What's up Texans V? Today we're going to be showing you how to get a banger deal on a used bike like this. We're going to walk you through the steps on how to not get scammed and how to get a good deal. Let's get into it. So today we're going to be using Pink Bike to search for our bike. Uh, if you're on your phone, go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom and select desktop version. This will allow you to put in a lot of details and find, narrow down your search so you can find the right bike. Um, now let's go ahead and get into what we're looking for. So Pink Bike allows you to search by nationwide or city or states. So of course we're going to be using Texas, aka the Great Plains. So now we're going to plug that in. So now it's time to pick out what kind of style of riding you're going to be doing. And we chose all mountain slash enduro because that's the best riding out in the Great Plains area. Now it's time to fill out the price point. So figure out how many Robux you have in your piggy bank and then fill it out. But remember to account for shipping. That should cost about a hundred bucks. Then you got to fill out your sizes. So we're going to be looking for medium and large and 27 and 29. So we filled out what we wanted to fill out. If anything else matters to you, like the year of the bike, then go ahead and do so. But truly, we don't give <laughs> two shakes of a rat's tail. So now we're going to take a gander of all the bikes that it's going to pull up with our um, that meet all of our requirements. So let's take a look. Alright, uh, first off, we're going to look at this 29er DaVinci Hendrix. It looks pretty clean, and he purchased it in 2017, so it couldn't be too clapped out. So taking a look at the bike, we have no dropper posts and some bad pedals, so you're going to have to put a little bit of money into it, and most likely you're going to have to ship it. But that's still okay, because it's pretty cheap. So now we're going to take a look at the stanchions. They look pretty clean. So that's a good sign. So that brings us on to negotiating. A lot of people are willing to make deals on bikes. Uh, this one does say firm, so that means he's not going to be moving too much on the price. So considering the shipping, this one may not be the right one because it also needs dropper posts and pedals. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other ones. Uh, so when making an offer, don't lowball them because that's going to make them pitch a hissy fit and you don't want that. <laughs> so the next bike is this 2014 Santa Cruz Bronson, 27.5 wheels and a medium frame. It's $1,400. Seems like a good deal. Make sure to read the fine print because it does say the dropper post is not functioning. Uh, the bike looks clean, has good pedals, has a dropper post, which is good, and might just need to lube up some parts on there. <laughs> All the imperfections aren't really a terrible thing, though, because that's a point where you can negotiate with them. You can just say that you're going to have to spend a little bit of money fixing it up, and you can probably get them down a little bit on the price. Right, so this bike also has a carbon frame, so... If you're getting it shipped, make sure you get it um, brought to a bike shop to make sure that the bike's in good condition and the frame isn't damaged. But you can do this yourself if um, if you're going to look at it in person. Uh, so the next bike we're going to look at is a Norco Sight. This bike is 1300 so we're going to take a look at it. Uh, so right away we can tell that it doesn't have a dropper post and the stanchions look pretty good. Stanchions are looking nice and buttery like a pile of biscuits. Uh, bike looks pretty solid overall, but I personally don't don't like the fork on there. I've never ridden that brand. I like the Rock Shocks and Fox, but uh, that'd be up to you on what you want. So when you're looking at a bike, you want to make sure the frame's in good shape, the fork and shock. Those are the most important things. Some things that don't really matter is the if the tires are wore out, you're gonna have to replace those anyway. Uh, chain doesn't really matter. So Pink Bike is a pretty safe website, but you want to make sure you're not getting scammed. So if the pictures look kind of sketch or it's too good to be true, you might want to hold off on it. So 
one way to get a better feel for the person is to call them over the phone. So this way you can make sure that it's an actual person selling the bike and the bike's actually real. All right, so if the bike has a couple of yeehaw marks, that's okay. But if it looks like it's been clapped beyond its limits, then you might want to hold off on it and it might have an abusive owner. Thanks for watching, Cowboys. As always, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Make sure to drop a yeehaw down in the comments. And just remember, when it gets rowdy, we say howdy.